have some whole class discussions to push on some of these ideas, right? So we already all looked at this. I think everyone ended up on number two saying, hey, they both could be right because they may have just written different equations that describe the same line. We all said that at some point, didn't we? Because they were focusing on different points, which is where this point, this idea came up. Now, what was the pattern that you started to talk about on this, Donovan? Yep. So let me read, because we wrote it right next to each other and we're able to see this a little bit more clearly. And by the way, don't ever forget, guys, f of x, that's just the function notation for y, right? So, Donovan, what was the pattern that you and Alan started talking about here? But then the Y is the same sign? Yes, sir. Okay. Braden, do you agree with that assessment that at least what we're seeing here, that the X value is the opposite of what we see in the point, but the Y value is exactly the same? Yeah. Yeah. That's a huge pattern to notice. And then we pushed on those ideas in some of those groups. Hey, Zay, are you paying attention and trying to learn these ideas? Because it looks like you're outlining the thing that has your name on it, which is not helping you. Okay? So, McKay, what was the language that y'all used or you used to describe this pattern that we see here, right? So we see a pattern that we're subtracting 9, we're adding 9, so it's just the opposite of those x values of the points, whereas the y's here are exactly as they appear. What did y'all say? x minus the x value of a point. So, yeah, x minus the x value of the point. So tell me, Donovan, this was driving you bonkers, right? If we do x minus a positive 9, that explains this, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And if I do x minus a negative 9, how do we subtract a negative? We end up adding. Does that explain this? Does that, ex does that answer your question, how that happens? That's 100% right. Okay. Although, what's happening with over here? What are we doing with the y values? So we subtracted the x value. What are we doing here? Adding. We're adding, right? Notice if I add a negative 7, so I'm adding the y value. What do we do when we add a negative? When you add a negative? Yo, we're adding a negative. Oh. It's, it's what? It's a subtraction. So the right? negative 14. Notice how we're adding a positive 2, so it's just plus. Now, y'all, need you to focus. Um, I already pushed on all everybody's ideas for number 4. Um, y'all you, you just picked your own point and cre created an equation. One thing I do need you to be aware of is, because some of us made this mistake, Is that an equation of a line? No. Nope. What do I still need? Y equals. Y equals. Y'all, stop packing. Number five, what would the pattern look like if the point was A comma B? I think I saw everyone say Y equals M times X <coughs> minus A plus B. Yeah. Notice, Donovan, you even said right here, you were subtracting a positive 9, subtracting a negative 9. That's what explained these sign changes. What should this remind you of? Y equals mx plus b. Point slope. Point slope. Right? That's not just y equals mx plus b, that's y equals m minus x1 plus y1. Now, I think if I saw correctly, everyone wrote this equation here. Once we remember to put y equals. Is that the equation everyone got? We mm -hmm. to 6, yeah. Okay. Does this make sense, though? Would you agree with this idea? But where you all got to is you were struggling to say, how could I check this equation? Mm -hmm. Well, remember, every point on the line should make this equation true. true. Could you graph using this point and that slope? Yeah. Yeah. 
and find some more points to plug in and see if it makes the equation true? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you make a table? What's my additive rate of change? Mm, it's three. Every point should make this equation true. Check to see if those points make the equation true. That is where we'll pick up tomorrow. Oh. See, perfect right. ending time. Here is your homework. It's going to be the rest of what I did not assign yesterday. So ready numbers four and five. Go number 15. Actually, I do need a little bit more than that. Sorry, guys. What? Let's say four, five, and actually, no. We do one and four. Okay, five and six. 16, or 15, 16. Those are the four. So five, six, 15, 16. Apparently, I forgot to look at the homework to make sure it was updated. It's just five and six, 15, 16, though. Have a great rest of your day. Please do your homework, and I will see you all tomorrow.